Wesley Fofana has an insane amount of potential in this game, especially after the winter update. So we're going to take a look at him today. Wesley Fofana's potential attribute number is about 180. That is absolutely incredible in this game. He's a central defender for Chelsea right now, 21 years of age, 48 to 144 million, 230K per week until 2029. So he's there for a while. As you can see, physically, he's fantastic except for balance. So apparently he gets knocked over in a gust of wind. Mentally as well, he's doing really nicely. Definitely not going to be a leader anytime soon. Not a flare on the ball. Uh, and then technicals, not too bad as well. Marking of 15, passing is not great. Uh, tackling and technique of 15 and 14, heading of 16. Yeah, I mean, the sky's the limit for this kid. He already has a couple of milestones in his name. FA Cup winners, scored his first senior club goal. He's got the Coupe Gambardella Credit Agricola winners at Saint-Étienne and then made a senior club debut. So he's got a couple of those already. Uh, he's career stats he's already gone there We're, we'll get into that in just a little later but right off the bat money is going to be his issue uh unless he dips a little obviously only the top tiers are going to be able to afford him but i mean he's going to have a fantastic career i've got to say right at this point zero caps to his name but i'm pretty sure that's going to change in the next 10 years so without further ado let's just skip ahead i mean look his biography's already massively filled out but let's skip ahead for 10 years and see what happens well, in 10 years time, he only he has two caps for the French team. That's it. He's 32 years old. This is the end of the 33 season. Uh, and he's in Manchester United. So he has gone north. He is getting a lot less money. I don't know why. Still 42 to 125 million now. 135k per week till 2034. A regular starter. Uh, maybe he just wasn't getting the game time at Chelsea. But uh, I will say nothing's really grown dramatically. I mean, leadership is still 10. I think that's funny. But, I mean, his numbers are still fantastic. Marking of 16, tackling of 16. So some of these have gone up by one. Uh, heading of 16. Everything in the physicals, for the most part, is about the same or th very close. So it doesn't look like he's going to grow much. But, I mean, he's already starting out fantastic. You might as well just keep it going. But Premier League, 33 appearances, two assists, only two assists. Well, I mean, I guess defender. 7-2-3 average rating. Champions League, nine with one goal, 7-2 average rating. I mean, not too bad at all. And look at this. So he, he started his career at St. Etienne uh, in 2016, 2017. Nothing really recorded there. 14 total appearances in 2019 and 2020. Moved on to Leicester for 31 million. A couple of seasons without too much there. You got one season really nice with 28 appearances, but then nothing really after that. 72 million moved to Chelsea, 22-23, so this past season. And then a Manchester United move in 27-23 for only 33.5 million. He really didn't do much at Chelsea at all. There it is. I wonder if there's an injury problem. But overall, Manchester United, you've got 27 appearances, 34 appearances, then down to 18 and 16, but then back up to 31 and 33. So when he plays... Full seasons, he does very well. But 696 is still nothing to cry about. But overall, I, there's something that's been going on. Only two appearances for Chelsea. 8, 4, 0. So yeah, something's been going on. So let's take a look at his injuries. He's got a lot of majors. Uh, through 24 season, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 majors. 4 weeks, 7 weeks, 7 months with a broken lower leg. Uh, and that's already happened. So these three have already happened. So he's got leg issues. Damaged cruciate ligaments, broken foot, torn abdominal muscle, three months, three months, eight months. So that's not good. A bunch of moderates after that, some slights, which aren't too concerning. But the moderates, I mean, he's got a lot of things that you need to worry about. Uh, so he may be fantastic, but he's going to be out for a couple of seasons here and there. Still moderates for two weeks, three weeks, eight days, two weeks. Uh, 29 was not a good season. But from that point on, for the last four years, I mean, two weeks. So he's he should be playing a little bit more. Maybe he's just coming back to fitness and all that, but I don't know. But still something to keep in mind to take a look at. Milestones obviously have grown. Best 11s all around. Emirates Cup, uh, FA Cup winners, Premier League champions, Community Shield winners, uh, League Defender of the Season runner-up in the UEFA League. You got more so FA Cup, Carabao Cup winner. So he's won pretty much everything after being bought by Manchester United. Carabao Cup winners, FA Club, FIFA Club World Cup winners. Uh, so yeah, he's got pretty much everything that you could want. Champions League, you're missing out, but still. And you got, you're missing out on a couple of individual trophies. Still doing really well. 
So skipping ahead to the 2039 season at the tail end, he's 38 years old. It says he's here for another season, but he's not in the database anymore after this season. So I'm going to assume he retires. Uh, maybe he just wasn't getting the game time. He's only a squad player. I know his short plans wants to feature more in the first team. Not getting it, especially at 38. But he has bounced around after Manchester United. Uh, and I mean, he still looks pretty good. His mentals are great. Uh, physicals, wow. Acceleration of six and pace of six. His technicals, not too bad. Still marking, passing, tackling, and technique are doing really well. But you can't track back, you're in trouble. So as you could, let's go to career stats. And as you could see, from 33.5 million to Manchester United, made his way to Marseille for 4.3. Really didn't feature much until the next season. 24 appearances there. And then made his way on a free to West Brom. 16 total appearances. Uh, in the championship. So he has gone all the way down to the championship. But overall, it looks like this is the tail end of the season and this career for him. Injury-wise, he still had a lot more slight, or a couple more slights at least, a couple more moderates. One major uh, torn thigh muscle in training for two months. So yeah, I mean, it really is time to call it a, a day for him. So unfortunately, he never won the Champions League. Uh, still some best 11s throughout the rest of his Manchester United career. Community Shield winners, Na uh, UEFA Nation League winners. So how many caps does he have now? Seven. A whopping seven. So, but then nothing. You know, bought by Marseille. Named in Marseille's seasonal best 11, but then released on free and signed by West Brom. So nothing really there whatsoever. I guess if we just finish off with a bio, he is a name mainly known to those with a strong interest in English soccer, and that's it. Interesting. He's got a great record of 15 competition wins to his name. Uh, in terms of personal accolades, though, he is a single runner-up in the UEFA Champions League Defender of the Season. Was not able to build off of that for some reason. Again, I'm pretty sure if you brought him into your own team, you could do a lot better with him. You know, give him the training, give him the nurturing and culture that he needs. Uh, but 33 and a half million in what was it, 27 to 28 to Manchester United is a really cheap deal. So I would definitely suggest scouting this kid uh, and hopefully you can do a lot better with him. But that is it for me, Wesley Fafana. I am Sefian FM for the Football Manager blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. Mm -hmm.